Hi everyone, this video is the first video of my Star Citizen home location series. Where do you make it home in Stanton? And in this video, we are going to do some quick tests and comparison of the four different locations, and then you will know why there is a hidden risk for making Arcorp a home location. So you can be aware of that when you do make Arcorp your home location. If you do love our videos, please like and subscribe. That will help us a lot in growing our channel. Much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with Orison first. We're gonna test not only at what altitude we can start our quantum jump, but also at what altitude we're out of armistice zone, which means we can shoot and be shot at. So in Orison, the ground zero is 80 kilometers. And let's climb. Oh yeah, Drake Harrow, burn those engines, baby, burn those engines. 90 kilometers, we can start quantum jump in Orison, but we're still in the armistice zone, we cannot shoot. So let's check out at what altitude we're outside armistice zone. I'm spamming my trigger button. Burn those engines. 140, we're still in armistice zone. 150. Oh, there we go. So at 150 kilometers, we are outside armistice zone. Between 90 kilometers where you, we can achieve quantum jump to 150 kilometers, those range are protected by the armistice zone. We cannot shoot, but we cannot be shot at. It is safe for us to jump. So that is very good to know. Let's go to the next location. Let's uh, take a look at the Microtech. We are at uh, 1,035 meters, the altitude from the Microtech spaceport. And let's get out and start climbing. The Drake Harrow climbs fast. Look at that speed. It's crazy. It's at 11 kilometers where you can start quantum jump. But we're still in armistice zone, so let's test at what altitude we can fly out of armistice zone. There we go. I think it's 25. I'm gonna make another pass just to make sure. Correct, 25 kilometers. So in Microtag, the safe zone is between 11 kilometers where you can start to do quantum jump to 25 kilometers where you are protected by the armistice zone. So it's about 14 kilometers range where you are protected. You cannot shoot, but you cannot be shot at or to be quantum interdicted. All right, Lorville. Let's see. Okay, hangar doors opened. We are starting from 966 meters, which is about one kilometer. And let's start climb. Yep, burn those engines. Eight kilometers. Slowly climbing. There we go. Nine kilometers in uh, Lorville. We can start quantum jumping. And let's see where the uh, range of armistice zone is. 29. There we go. So 29 kilometers. We passed the limit of uh, armistice zone. So this test showed us that uh, when you reach nine kilometers on Lorville, you can start doing your quantum jump. When you pass 29 kilometers, you pass the armistice zone. So between nine kilometers to 29 kilometers, you are protected by the armistice zone. So you can do quantum jump. I call it safe zone. Now we are at the Arcorp. I'm gonna be flying the Mantis for this test. And our current altitude is 144 meters. And let's get out and start climbing. Okay, I'm going to climb a little bit uh, slower because I know at seven, yeah, there we go. You see right now is uh, 6.5 kilometers. You are, you cannot do quantum jump at this level, but you can start shooting, which means you're already outside armistice zone, which means let me climb a little bit more, reach seven kilometers. At seven kilometers, a little bit above seven kilometers, you can do quantum jump, but there is no safe zone outside the uh, quantum jump level, which means in era 18, if you try to do quantum jump, if there is a pirate player or pirate group or pirate org especially can come attack you once you reach seven kilometers at area 18. This is a risk that I'm talking about. It is extremely risky situation if a pirate player or group or org flying this ship, Mantis or any uh, quantum 
interdicting capable ship. Let me climb up a little bit. I think I turn my quantum jammer on. Let me see when it turns red. There we go. It turns red. I'm at 11 kilometers. So around 11 kilometers, they can have their uh, quantum interdicting ship effective against whatever ship that is fly over here trying to do quantum jump. Let me see if there's any players here. Which, uh, I don't see any players. If there's any players, I can test on them. This is the rig. See how close it is to the Area 18 spaceport. Oh, there is uh, Drake Vulture. Maybe uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit to see if he tried to do some quantum jump. He will be charging me for a uh, crime stat if I interdict him. But uh, this is a risk if you choose home at Area 18. But this does not mean you should not choose Area 18 as your home. The, the purpose of this video is to show you the risk so you are aware of it. Of course, there are so many advantages of choosing Area 18 to be your home location, especially for 3.18. And I believe it is a very, very popular place. That's why CIG is trying to fix the ghost tram here right now at the moment that we speak. <laughs> If you choose Area 18 as your home location, be aware of this risk so you can mitigate it. Especially when you are carrying valuable cargo or your inventory from your home location in Area 18 to go to Virginia Point. But on the other hand, this is an advantage for the pirate players and uh, pirate orcs. So I want to say to those pirate players and pirate org, if you're doing this here, good hunting. And I want to say to those nine pirate players, be careful and be aware. The Star Citizen universe is a dangerous place, but a fun place to be. So citizens, good hunting and be careful and have lots of fun. And I hope this video is informative for you, especially those tests we did for each uh, locations. Safe flying citizens. I will see you in the next video.